towards understanding and predicting self-interruptions in automated driving. The Society of Automotive Engineers defines six levels of automation. Level 3 is the first level where drivers can enjoy other activities as long as they remain fallback ready, which means being able to take over control safely after a request. It also comes with new problems. Letting drivers fully engage in other activities provides a good experience but is also unsafe. Regularly warn drivers to pay attention to the driving task fosters safety but is also annoying. Is it possible to foster safety and good experience at the same time? Self-interruptions, which are voluntary attention switches between two tasks, might be the solution. A previous driving simulator study found out that drivers regularly self-interrupted between watching a TV show on a head-up display and the driving environment during automation. Studies showed that more self-interruptions are likely to improve situation awareness, which in turn improves fallback readiness. The dataset from the previous study I'm working on are video recordings of the driving environment annotated with when each of the 15 participants self-interrupted. My goal is to find a solution that fosters fallback readiness and good experience at the same time. To achieve that, I'm focusing on self-interruptions from the primary task, watching a TV show on a head-up display towards the driving environment during level 3 automated driving. The research questions are, when and how do self-interruptions occur? Which bottom-up stimuli cause self-interruptions? Is it possible to predict self-interruptions based on video recordings of the driving environment? First, I prepare the video and annotation data for the quantitative analysis to answer when and how self-interruptions occur. Then for the qualitative analysis to answer which bottom-up stimuli cause them. And lastly, to train a machine learning model to answer whether it is possible to predict them based on video recordings of the driving environment. First, I converted the video recordings of the driving environment into images, which I then fed into the image classifier VGG16 to extract relevant spatial features. VGG16 is a deep convolutional neural network which have shown to be highly effective in extracting relevant features from images and classifying them. At the end are one flattened to fully connected and a classification layer. Since I need the features and not the classifications, I use the output features from the flattened and the two fully connected layers, which I concatenated for the first and last image of a sequence to get temporal features. Together they should provide information about saliency and effort, which are the bottom-up factors of the visual attention model CIF. Then I added the label from the annotation data. Whenever drivers switch their attention away from the TV show for at least two seconds, it is labeled as a self-interruption. The results are feature vectors with information of the start and end image of a sequence and the corresponding self-interruption label. I analyzed those data quantitatively and found out that in a 12-minute drive, there were seven events in the city where at least 30% of the drivers self-interrupted and only one on the highway. In the qualitative analysis, I found out which stimuli might cause them. In this example, 38% self-interrupted probably because of the contrast and brightness changes when entering and exiting a tunnel. After finding patterns in the qualitative analysis, it is probably possible to train a machine learning model to predict self-interruptions. Using the extracted features from the pre-trained model VGG16, to train a machine learning model is called transfer learning, which has the advantage of getting high accuracies with very limited amount of data, like in my case. I chose the machine learning model Random Forest to predict self-interruptions because it is suitable for the task and it might help understanding which features are relevant. To figure out which of the three VGG16 layers are most suitable for an accurate prediction, I will train, validate and test the model with each of them and compare their performance metrics. The data preparation is done and the analysis and system building are work in progress. This is an early proof of concept and has some limitations grounded in the fact that it is based on a simulator study and in the small sample set. Nevertheless, the results of my work could be the base for future systems that helps foster safety and good experience at the same time, like in this video.
To illustrate the visual attention of the driver, there is a red circle and anything else is blurred out. Whenever the driver pays attention to the predicted self-interruption, the screen gets easier to watch. And whenever the driver misses a prediction, the system nudges the driver to pay more attention to the driving environment by making it harder to watch. Thank you.